Good morning, Facebook family, and welcome to our Mondays Reflect and Revive. First of all, I just want to say thank you for being so encouraging with my daughter Kristen for her last uh, Monday's devotion. Um, thank you for all the words and just being there for her and lifting her up. I really do appreciate that, and I know that she did a wonderful job, and yes, I am very proud of her. This morning, I want to talk about how we are at war and that is a spiritual war we face an unseen force that is working so hard to kill who we are in christ to steal our relationship with the father the son and the holy spirit and to steal our relationship with one another. It is working over time to destroy everything that we believe in the Word of God, everything that we stand for, and the faith that we have in one another and the church. We are in a spiritual war. Paul talks about, um, he warns us in 2 Corinthians 2.11 not to be ignorant of the devil's strategy. And I'm going to read out of the New King James and the Amplified um, Version. But the scripture goes like this. 2 Corinthians 2.11, it says, Least Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And the Amplified goes like this to hear satan from getting the advantage over us to keep satan from getting the advantage over us for we are not ignorant of his vials wiles and intentions wiles and intentions we need to know our enemy we need to know our god and we need to know who we are in him I like watching um, movies like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. I just watched um, Shannara Chronicles. Um, I also like to watch Narnia. And the reason that I like to watch them is because even though that there is such a struggle and such a fight between good and evil, I just sometimes get so empowered knowing who I am in Christ by watching these movies and I feel that, I don't know, that the, these movies prepare me for something bigger that is coming. And I know who I am in Christ and I see how the enemy's working to, to, to destroy. And one of the, in the movies, there's always something that the enemy wants. You know, whether it's the ring, whether it's the chosen ones, whether it's the called ones, whatever, the enemy is drawn to something that it wants. And I really felt in my spirit, that's what God was saying to me. It's the enemy is always drawn to God's people to, to, throw something to separate, to divide, to destroy. And I don't want to be that pawn for him. You know, so I know that knowing my enemy, knowing God, knowing who I am in God is not enough. I know that I need to equip myself in order to fight the good fight and that's what you guys have to do there's so many distractions in the world right now that are keeping us from the word of god that are keeping us from um each other from that are keeping us from the church they're distractions you know the enemy doesn't want us there because when we're in the word where we're with one another of people of um like-minded or in the church, you know, we get stronger spiritually. The enemy doesn't want that. You know, 
We can't be ignorant in his attacks. We can't just turn a blind eye and think that um, because we ignore it, it's going to go away. It's not going to go away. It's actually going to get worse before it gets better. There's havoc in the earth. It's, it's craziness that's going on. You know, there's sickness, there's disease, there's immorality, there is hate, there's murders, you know, there's, you know, we know about, you know, the abortion. We know about how people just take life and it doesn't matter to them. We, the chosen, and I say the chosen because in Matthew 22, 14 talks about many, many are called, many are called, but few are chosen. You know, and we can think about it, you know, being called to the, the, the table, the feast, you know, and, and you have a choice to deny that invitation. You have a choice to deny the revelation of God. But the revelation of God is what's going to give you and me power to overcome and be victorious in this fight. You know, every movie, every um, series that I have watched that is good against evil, good prevails. They send demon after demon after demon in these movies and the demons are destroyed. That's what we should be doing. That's what we are called to do because this, the fight is not here on the earth. The fight is in the spiritual realm. We must enforce kingdom law, kingdom mentality, kingdom passion, kingdom desire. Nobody likes to be told what to do. But our ultimate authority is God, is Jesus Christ, is the Holy Spirit. Are you listening to the spirit within you? Are you, or are you working in the flesh? Don't let things like the mask, taking the temp and church, it's all for safety. It's not to take away your freedom. It's for safety for yourself and for others. Don't let that be a distraction for you. Don't let the government be a distraction for you. Don't let those that are in authority here on earth be a distraction to you. Let God guide everything that you say and that everything that you do. Let's encourage each other. We are at war. We are at spiritual war. And the only way to fight that is, is with the word of God. It's spiritual warfare, guys, that we are in. And it takes us knowing how the enemy works in order to destroy it before things get worse within ourselves, within our families, within our church. We have that power and we have that authority. Are you called? Are you ignoring that call? I know that I am chosen and I want to be different and I'm not here to please you or anybody else. I'm here to please God himself. That's where he wants us spiritually plugged in. I pray in Jesus mighty name that my brothers and sisters are not guided by their flesh. Heavenly father. I pray that my brothers and sisters are guided by the spirit that is so strong and so powerful within us, the Holy Spirit. 
I pray, dear God, in Jesus' mighty name, and I lift up my brothers and sisters in Christ, dear Lord, that they would not be blinded and they would not be distracted by the wiles and the strategies of the enemy, dear God, but they would rise up, Heavenly Father, the spiritual warriors that they are, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, dear Lord, that they would not fear, Heavenly Father, what man can do them to them, dear Lord, but that they would fear, Heavenly Father, for the one that can destroy the soul, dear Lord and that they would connect themselves with you, Heavenly Father, to do mighty kingdom works, Heavenly Father, on your behalf, dear Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, dear God, in Jesus' mighty name, dear Lord, that you would give my brothers and sisters revelation, Heavenly Father, to stand on, dear Lord, to fight the good fight, Heavenly Father, and at the end of the day, dear Lord, and at the end of our lives, dear God, that you would be proud of us, dear Lord, and that it doesn't matter how little it is, dear Lord, that we would, Heavenly Father, damage Satan's kingdom and his lies, dear God. I thank you for your goodness upon our lives, dear God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the Christian soldiers that stand, Heavenly Father, and fight, dear God, because we will not answer for each other, dear Lord. We will answer for ourselves. And we just thank you, dear Lord, that you have always gone before us in Jesus' mighty name. It's Monday, it's raining. Just remember, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice in it. And I pray that you do the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye.